Welcome friends to another video, welcome to another Gavo Scented week, this time around week number 33, and this is basically my weekly fragrance rotation, a type of content where I'm showing you the two fragrances that I'm going to wear throughout a whole week. I decided to go with two fragrances from the same house this time around, a French niche house that's uh, very well known in the community, and this house is called Histoire de Parfum. I decided to pick these two fragrances that I'm going to show you today due to the temperatures that we're going to have throughout this week. And uh, the first fragrance that I'm going to wear is called Histoire de Parfum 1828 Jules Verne. This is such an amazing, beautiful creation from this house. This is a fresh fragrance that uh, has a very, very good performance, at least on me, with uh, good longevity, good projection and good sillage. But uh, the most intriguing part, if you want, uh, is actually the composition of this fragrance, which is uh, very, very interesting. We have in the top notes, citruses, eucalyptus, grapefruit and tangerine. We have in the heart, nutmeg and pepper. And in the base, we have pine tree, cedar, incense and vetiver. Therefore, a uh, very interesting composition in which the main ingredient, if you ask me, is that eucalyptus note, which is simply outstanding, is simply remarkable interpreted in this fragrance and gives that uh, unique vibe, if you want, to, to this fragrance or a different scent profile that uh, you are uh, used to. Because eucalyptus is a note that's not very common in uh, fragrances. I've uh, met this note uh, two times prior to this fragrance in my life. Therefore, uh, I cannot say that it's something that uh, you can find like uh, vetiver, for example. But this combination between the citruses, the grapefruit, the tangerine, also you have that um, pepper and um, the nutmeg in the heart of this fragrance that uh, come with their uh, spiciness, if you want, make this fragrance very, very refreshing. It's like an energy boost, if you want. Also, it uh, smells very elegant, very refined, if you want, very manly at the same time, and uh, it simply uplifts your mood. But another ingredient that's very important in this composition is the pine tree note. You also have some cedar, vetiver and incense. The incense is, very, incense is very airy in this one. It's basically like a um, cloud of uh, smoke, if you want. But I do love the vetiver and the cedar, especially the vetiver, which is very bright, very sunny. Um, and it brings a bit of earthiness, if you want, woodiness to the composition. Combined with the pine tree and the eucalyptus, the, out, uh, the outcome is simply, simply gorgeous. And I really love to smell this fragrance on my skin. Every single time that I wear it, it's simply amazing, especially in hot weather uh, or um, hot days. Performance-wise, again, very good fragrance. No problems with uh, my uh, skin's chemistry. Um, I truly, truly enjoy wearing this one. And uh, the second fragrance that I'm going to pick uh, this week is, uh, again, from the house of uh, Histoire de Parfum. But this is a totally different, uh, let's say, uh, um, <laughs> product because this is such an amazing creation. This comes from the This Is Not A Blue Bottle lineup and it's called This Is Not A Blue Bottle 1.6. It's their latest creation in this lineup. And this is an amazing Neroli-based fragrance. One of the best that I ever smelled. One of the best performing that I ever uh, smelled, tried, owned. One of the best um, interpretations of Neroli, but also of Orange Blossom. Because this is the main accord of this fragrance, again, at least on me. But you also have different uh, ingredients, because in the top notes we have Yuzu, Orange and Grapefruit. In the heart we have Neroli, Orange Blossom, Jasmine, Lotus and Geranium. And in the base we have Musk, Vetiver and Vanilla. This is simply amazing. Every single time that I wear this fragrance, it drives me crazy because it's so, so beautiful. This is a citrusy bump, first and foremost. You get that beautiful yuzu in the opening combined with a very zesty, delicious orange and also with a uh, very beautiful grapefruit peel. You also have the Neroli and the Orange Blossom, which combined together are simply stunning. These are notes obtained from the same, um, let's say, um, tree, from the orange tree, but with different, but with different procedures. And uh, although they are almost identical in terms of uh, the scent profile, they still 
have their own features. The orange blossom goes more to the woody, herbal, flowery aspect of the note, while the neroli is uh, actually the soapy part of, uh, let's say, um, the orange tree. That's why in fragrances, neroli is soapy and orange blossom goes more to the uh, woody, herbal, flowery aspect. They are both beautiful accords, beautiful notes, but combined together, you get a huge, huge overdose of, um, let's say, uh, freshness. Uh, basically, you're going you're gonna to get a huge blast of soapiness with this one, followed very soon from behind by the beautiful orange blossom. And combined with uh, the jasmine, the lotus and the geranium, this takes freshness to a different level. Very clean, very refined, very um, masculine at the same time, very elegant and bright also. And in the bass notes, you're going to get a small hint of musk, vetiver and vanilla. The vanilla accord only comes here in order to, um, let's say, bind the whole um, citruses and flowery aspects of this fragrance and uh, tones down the acidity of those citruses, uh, especially the acidity coming from, uh, if you want, the yuzu, the orange and the grapefruit. Making this fragrance a bit more rounded with uh, a lot of depth and uh, giving it, if you want, a very, very good base on which to lay down. This is a very good performing fragrance. On my skin, this stays for a very, very long time with huge projection, I would say, especially in the first couple of hours, and a very good sillage. This is a fragrance that you can wear throughout the year, but uh, mostly during uh, warmer weather or hot weather, especially in summertime, which is uh, the best moment for this fragrance to shine. Also, I would say that you can uh, wear this one uh, at every type of uh, event. You can wear it uh, casually, semi-formal, and even formal, for that matter. This is a fragrance that uh, may appeal to younger crowds and I um, I mean it may appeal. I uh, wouldn't say that it would definitely be something that they like due to the soapiness that it brings but for sure this uh, would be a um, huge like for more mature audiences. If you want um, this fragrance is basically like uh, <laughs> Colonia Essenza from Aqua di Parma and orange blossom from Penhaligons created a baby together. And this is the end result. This is that baby. Because if you take uh, Colonia Essenza and if you take orange blossom, you're going to get two different fragrances, somewhat still similar, but one um, Neroli centric, the other one centered on the orange blossom. Combined together, this would be the result. This is not a blue bottle, 1.6, and it's simply outstanding. And unfortunately, I couldn't manage to get my hands on a uh, 120 ml bottle. I only had to settle with this 60 ml bottle, but uh, for what it is, I'm uh, very happy to have it and to wear it, especially. And when uh, I have the opportunity, I'm just going to go and purchase the full bottle. These are basically uh, the two fragrances that I'm going to wear this uh, whole week. These are two uh, recommendations from uh, my behalf. I highly recommend them to you. I'm going to stop here. As always, my friends, be safe, be good, and remember, smell good, feel good.